Welcome to Comedy Bites, the hot new comedy food and travel show. Three comedians and longtime friends from the Bronx, USA, Davian Velez, Nikki Carr, and Tara Canastracy take you on the road across the country to different comedy clubs and restaurants with great shows and amazing food. Tonight we are in the Bronx yet again, our hometown at Sangria Cafe. I'm a comic, so you know I go in through the stage door because we special, I'm VIP. But come inside and check out this club. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> God. Right, comedy Bites, this is Gina. Hi, everybody. We're here at Orchard Beach, last day of the summer. Here at Turtle Cove, the main event, the main place we're gonna do, and we're here to meet the main man, Mr. Steve Cook, the owner of Turtle Cove. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey! World champion. Caribbean world champion. Don't count. The world, the world, senor, come away. English, 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 yo. Well, Davian, you wanted cowboys. Welcome to the stockyard, but hey, you know what? How about a cowgirl? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is amazing. This is uh, Fort Worth. How you doing? <laughs> this is the real, authentic Fort Worth experience. You're going to see real cowboys, longhorns, the most beautiful animal you're ever going to see, mechanical bulls, and it's you can buy a cowboy hat, you can get some brisket. It's really one of the most authentic wow. places. Hi. Don't get hit by a horn. That is cool. <laughs> Hook How you doing? Touch the butt. You don't I don't want to. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Boogie down Bronx. Boogie down Bronx. Let's back go. He hates the Cowboys. He's a, he, he cowboy. he a Giants fan, so crank it up. I'm a Jets fan. I'm not a Giants fan. Jets. Giant fan. Uh, uh, Jets. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, Comedy Bites. Now we're in Manhattan at the Stan Comedy Club. I'm here with the amazing chef. We got Harold Villaros Villarosa. Did I say it right? <laughs> Villarosa. Villarosa. Yeah. And homemade pizza? Yeah, well, we had a chef from Bologna, Italy. From Italy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that, like Super Mario Brothers? Like <laughs> that? Going, going. And just stretch it. Like spandex. Stretch, stretch it like yeah. spandex? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, everywhere. Like a woman's buttocks. Right? Yeah. You try, have one of my, one of my beautiful slices. Nice. I'm a chef, too. It's like, No better, though. Not bad? Mm -hmm. Am I better than him? No way. Oh. Who's Bruce? And, and, and we I'll saved the best for last in oh. honor in honor of Black History Month. And for my really good friend, Mr. Black Ron, <laughs> we got the most amazing chicken so you're ever gonna try in your life. Oh, and, and, and Bruce is gonna explain what type, you can't even see the chicken, but he's gonna let you know how amazing this chicken is. Bruce, take it away, what are we eating? You know what we do, we just stack the enchiladas here. Oh, and okay. build it, we put a blue corn tortilla down, a layer of our shredded chicken mix, another blue corn tortilla, a layer of Monterey Jack cheese, and one more blue corn tortilla with a three red chili and a tomatillo sauce on it with rice beans and corn cake. Oh, okay. He was oh. trying to get his ass with <laughs> Bruce, you can't like a lawyer, man. Hi, everybody. Tyra Cannon Street here, your co-host of Comedy Bites. Right now, we are at Playa Betty down in New York City. To my right, I have Mark DeMeo, the hilarious Mark DeMeo, who's already drinking his drink before I, before I describe yeah, it. Put a drink in front of me, I'm gonna drink it. Typical cop. And then um, right here to my left, we have uh, Jason Andors. Hi, guys. I was dating a white girl this year with a black ass. <laughs> <laughs> she had a big ass. I want to meet her mom. I want to see where she got that ass from. Carly, I met her mom? No ass. Totally flat, looked like she ironed her pants while they were on. <laughs> now I'm confused, like, where did she get this ass from? I couldn't figure it out until her dad came prancing in the room. With his bubblicious beach ball ass. <laughs> she had the same fat ass as her father. This ruined my sex life. My girlfriend has her father's ass. These are not regular what? chicken fingers. So no. this 
is the Hang Ten Burrito. It happens to be personally my favorite because I also like the hashtag Hang With Us at West Side Comedy Club. But the Hang Ten Burrito, it's a San Diego style burrito, first of all. It's got skirt steak, sour cream, it's got um, jack cheese, and it is delicious. And you have to have it. You have to hang with us. Yeah. So Derek, how is it filming live on, on, on Last of G? What is it? What is it like? I'm when you film in comedy and you're good at comedy, it's just like stand up with just lights around you. It's pretty um it's pretty funny. So you feel comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Very, very, very comfortable. Man. Tracy Morgan is eccentric and hilarious. Tiffany Haddish is very, very hilarious. Cedric Entertainer is a god amongst men. Yeah, I love being in New York, because I'm from the suburbs. Black twist. I know a lot of y'all say this, but I'm from the burbs, nigga. I'm called a sack black. <laughs> I know about the streets if they end in a circle, nigga. <laughs> Wait, I remember Continental. that joke. Why people like that shit? shit, <laughs> They should download on Amazon Prime 25 sets with Aaron Burke. I watched it and I got tired. Thank you. Thank from you. watching him Aaron's, do it. Aaron's a beast. Tell us about that. The old record for comedy shows in one night was held by Steve Byrne, who's a phenomenal comic. Awesome comic. And uh, he did 13, and I thought, one night I did nine, and I go, I could do more than 13. So I scheduled 18, and then I go, I could do more than 18. So I scheduled 26, and then I did 25 shows in a night. And they varied from three minutes to 17 minutes in length. And I got punched in the penis on the I <laughs> My dad is a lawyer. He got so good at law, they give him a doctorate in law, which makes him a doctor lawyer, which in the Jew world is like, <laughs> doctor lawyer beats everything. Rabbi, diamond dealer, fiddler on the roof. <laughs> Doctor lawyer is the best Jew job unless my dad's on a plane and they're like, uh, there's an emergency. Is there a doctor on board? And my dad's like, I'm a doctor. And they're like, this man's choking. What should we do? And my dad would be like, we need to sue the airline. <laughs> We're all Bronx comics here at the Bronx Tavern. Thanks again for coming to another episode of Comedy Bites. And another thing, we all have a comment. None of us like David. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, no, absolutely. No, 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 like, no, no, no. I mean, we no, love them. No, no, no. We love them. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't like them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.